If you wanna make YouTube videos like this, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do it, what software I use, all of the hardware I use as well. Now, I run a YouTube channel, of course, and a lot of my viewers ask me, you know, how do you make your videos like this? Well, I'm gonna show you all of the software that I use and everything, so you can actually make videos just like this. Now, of course, the first thing I use is, and I use an iMac, and uh, I use Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos, and I'm actually going to edit a video right now, or a little bit, just to show you exactly how to do it. Now, the next thing I use is uh, ScreenFlow. Now, I use this software because this will actually record myself, and it'll actually record the screen at the same time. So this is all of the recording, and it's great because it's it, it works well. You can get a free trial right here. Uh, the links are all in the description below if you decide to use my affiliate links. If not, it's, it's okay. Uh, another thing that I use is the Yeti microphone. So this microphone I'm talking to you right now is the Yeti microphone. So... Uh, it's probably one of the best microphones out there. It's it's stable and just go to you know just do a, a Google search like look at this look at these reviews. Uh, sixty two hundred positive reviews. You know and it's only one hundred thirty bucks, and you get audio like this. Uh, the next thing I use is uh, these Lima Lima Studio uh, kits. So these right here are really cheap lighting and basically I put them away. So I, I basically like you see this picture right here. Um, I basically just shine them on both directions so the lighting's perfect. I don't use anything behind the computer. I just use them on the sides. And these are only like 50, 60 bucks. At $46, you can get these lightings. And the last thing that I use, and this is a new one that I use, is the Logitech Brio. Now, the reason why I don't recommend the Logitech 1080p or the other ones is because this specific camera records 60 FPS. What that means is the other cameras only record, only record 30 FPS. So you get a better resolution. So right now you can kind of see my hands, they wave. Now, if I'm on a 30 FPS, they might be a little choppy and it might not be as clear. So you get a lot more clarity with this camera. Now, this camera also records 4K as well, but you don't want to use 4K because the problem with 4K when you record that the files are huge and you're going to spend so much time like editing this video and it'll look virtually the same, you know, and you don't really want to see like blemishes and everything on people because it's just not, you, you don't need the 4K for this. You just need uh, 1080, uh, 1080p and you need 60 FPS. And I used to use the Logitech, like the Logitech uh, like Cam Pro, but it does only offer 30 FPS and that extra 30 FPS will make a huge difference because I come up much smoother and you can kind of see how like I'm, you know, it's, it's much easier to see on the eye. Now, let's go ahead and just say, all right, let's go ahead and record something. So right here, I'm currently recording something right here. Now, let's just say, for example, I, I'm done recording and I'm done. You know, I just click on stop. So you'd click on like begin and stop. Now, what I do is I, I'm going to go ahead and show you one of these little uh, things I have right here. So this is me right here. I'll do another one right here. We'll, we'll, we'll grab another one. Um, I'll use, these are all pre-made videos that I've made. So this is basically how it'll look right here. So this right here is my background. And then this right here is the actual uh, picture of me. So on the settings, I have it recording myself and I have it recording the screen all at the same time. So let me go ahead and find one, right? Oh, this one's perfect. Okay. So for example, right here, we have this video. Now this is from ScreenFlow. So ScreenFlow is doing this. Now I want to make two separate files. So I want to have a file of the background and then I export it by going over here to you know uh, export and share and then I'll export just the background and then what I do is I take this section right here I make it a little bit bigger and I export this as well now I bet you're wondering why are you doing this you know why are you making two different files I'll show you in just a bit because we're actually going to create a video that I'm actually going to use on YouTube so I'm going to export this video as well all right now I'm gonna go ahead and go to this file right here. So this is Final Cut Pro. So this is the software that I use in order to make the videos. Now, a lot of viewers ask me, you know, how you do all this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all because, um, you know, I it, it helps. You know, some of you might want to become YouTubers or you might want to make your own videos on something. So I went ahead and I dragged the background. So remember, this is just the background. Remember how we made two different files? So I said I made two different files. This is just the background right here. Now, this right here is the actual myself. So this is myself right here. All right. Now I want to go ahead and crop this. I just want the green section right here because I'm on a green screen. So behind me, I'm using a green screen. And also uh, I, I recommended, or I didn't recommend the other one. So going over here, you can just type in like something like green screen, 
green screen and I use a foldable kit. I wouldn't recommend these ones right here because these ones right here are really big. This one right here is perfect. In fact, this is the same one I'm using. And the reason why I recommend this one is because it doesn't wrinkle. So you don't have to worry about wrinkles in the back because it folds it really tight. And it's like, it's foldable. So you can just, you know, put it somewhere and take it on the go. So it's really easy to take anywhere with you. So I recommend this one. In fact, this is the same one that I'm currently using. So going back over here, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to crop this because I just want the green. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and crop this. Okay, so we got the green. All right, go to done. Now, I wanna go ahead and get rid of that green. So you see right here how there's I'm talking right there and the video is behind. So right here, I'm gonna take this called the keyer effect. So anytime there's a green screen, it doesn't matter what software you're using, you wanna use the keyer effect or the king effect. So here, I'm gonna take this keyer effect and simply just drop it right here and now it gets rid of it. So now the green is gone, but myself remains. So I have this right here and let's just go to click on play. Alrighty. What is up guys? My name is Daryl and today I'm gonna to show you- So how there I am recording. Now the reason why, uh, another tip of advice, the reason why I do this right here Alrighty. Alrighty. The reason why I do that in front of all my videos is because sometimes when you're using the microphone, it could chop out in the first like five seconds. So it's like uh, all the errors will get displayed in that beginning part and then you can just cut it out. So I'll show you how to cut it out just right now. So I have this section right here, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm right there and I don't belong there. So I selected the transform right here and I'm going to go ahead and put myself right here and make this smaller and just paste it right there like that and go to done now over here all right all right so all right i want to go ahead and cut that out now so i'm going to go ahead and make this bigger by clicking on this right here and making this just a little bit bigger and here i'm going to take this blade and i'm going to cut this up because i don't want this section so this and right there you got to make sure to cut it exactly or you're going to get um you're going to get your audio mismatch so right here i'm going to go ahead and cut this and bring this back like that. Now let's go ahead and play it right now. What is up guys? My name is Daryl and today I'm going to show you Perfect. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to add some some text right here. So just going over here, just drop just, everything's drag and drop with Final Cut Pro. I mean, that's why I love it so much. It's so easy. So right here I'll put in like um, how to add Google Forms Forms to WordPress to WordPress and maybe it's a little bit too big, so I wanna go ahead and reduce the size just a little bit, and I can just drag this anywhere I want. And then right here, description, I'll put like um, a quick, easy setup for Google Forms, right? Now, I, I want some music, you know? I, I kinda wanna add some music, so over here under the, um, let's see what I got over here, under my, uh, let's see what I got right here for music. I'll just take this file right here, and I'll just drop it right here, and drag and drop, that's it. Now I'll go ahead and reduce this size or this sound just a little bit. So here you can you can reduce it and watch this. I'll go ahead and play it now. What is up, guys? My name is Daryl. Today I'm gonna show you how you can embed Google Form on. Alright, so that's basically a quick way on how you can actually make this video. Now I might want to make this a little bit shorter and I want it to kind of fade in and out. So I'm going to use this control right here to kind of make it fade. And I'll maybe add something like uh, it was a little bit too loud, so maybe like 15. We're gonna go ahead and play it again. What is up, guys? So that's a great introduction. So right there. So my introduction is already done and that's virtually it. So all I need to do now is just go over here to share and go to export and I can just go ahead and share that and I just upload it to YouTube. So it's that simple to make a video. So in the beginning, it was like a green screen, it looked weird. And now we have this professional video that just looks really good. And I use this for all of my videos. So all right. So again, all those links are below. I hope this was helpful. If you want to learn how to you know, uh, use Final Cut Pro, it's just trial and error, guys. It really is, it's it's not that difficult. Also, uh, this website right here in Vital Market will give you a lot of transitions. So for example, right here, I have that one blue transition that comes in and you can kind of see what they offer. You see all those little, like, little texts, so you can just, it's all drag and drop and they show you exactly how to add those in on Final Cut. There's no coding, it's, there's nothing uh, technical about it. It's really, really simple. So um, I'm, all, I'm all done for this video. So right here on the top right, I'm gonna to go to stop recording. Of course, it's been nine minutes, but that's exactly how I make my YouTube videos and all of those devices I, I use 
I highly recommend to get them because if you want videos like this, if you want quality, you want lighting, you want the visuals like this, that's exactly what I use. There's nothing else I left out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and pause this video or end it and I'll see you all later in the next video.